Hello everyone, this is Tony of Tony's Music. Uh, I'm going to show you um, how to do something on Create Studio. I'm going to try and uh, show you how to do something anyway. Um, let's start with a new project and I'm going to call it Albert because I don't know what to call it, basically. And it's just to show you what to do with uh, how to um, cut down the sizes of things and make them a bit long longer in the projects and things like that so basically I'm going to start off with uh, getting a background scene on I'm going to show you how to uh, change the size of an ordinary background scene first then I'll do uh, a, a more difficult one this one's an easy scene it's just a uh, classroom and it's just one picture so there's there's no, no problem in changes. So all you gotta do is knock it down to five, uh, five seconds if you only want it on for five seconds, or if you want it longer, you just drag it along like that, and it'll last for that long. That's it's the simple, um, just straight background. Uh, there's no um, things in it uh, that you can change. You can animate it with this, but there's all the elements are stuck on the one page it's just one one picture that is so that's not a problem to do that one the problem ones are these ones um like this for example where they've got elements in them that are besides what they're doing if i'll show you what it looks like right start from the beginning right then with them come in right if you can see on the actual timeline you'll see a triangle in the left top corner and a triangle in the right bottom corner of the actual uh, timeline object for that background that proves that it's a group right so you can either ungroup it or you can double click to get into the group right most of the time I wouldn't ungroup it unless of course you're doing something spe specifically uh, most of the time you, you, you can save them as a group anyway and all you need to do with these is at the moment they're on 10 seconds right so you what you need to do is just um, with the background you can drag it for to 20 say and you can drag the tractor on another for all of 20 if you want to or just the 15 and that will make them last longer that one will, I can cut down to 5 seconds say if you wanted to you can knock them down like that as well so we'll start again from the beginning on that one and show you what happens with that now all right so there you go I've, uh, lost the digger now that's gone for after five seconds and the tractor is going to go in a sec that'll be 15 seconds and it's lasted a bit longer and the scene lasts for 20 seconds because i've uh, lengthened it inside the group right so if you lengthen it inside the group and it'd be okay however when you come out of the group and go back to the main project if for some reason you decide you want to change this to a shorter length for the time being and then put it back when you do that when you go back into the group afterwards you won't be able to put elongate it and have it back to 20 seconds you'll have to go back into the group to do it Look. so everything's been cut down it concatenates it right so you need to be aware of that that if you do change the size of the group inside the main project all of the group things will be down to that that, that um, minimum length that you put it if you extend it afterwards they will not stretch back you've got to read them again that's the thing now if you have a look I'll show you so it's still at 10 so you'd have to stretch them back to 20 or whatever you wanted them to be so always be aware that if you do change a group inside the main project 
um, if you cut it back it will cut back inside the project inside the group I mean if you elongate it it won't elongate the things inside it you have to go into the group to make them longer right so always be aware of that that is one of the main problems with this um, with the program is that you need to be aware of those things if you don't do that you'll have problems with your program or your your video anyway but what you need to do is like I said just get into the into the group by double clicking the actual background group and you can go into them that way or you can do the other thing which is what I'm going to do next which is go back onto there now if you right click them you can ungroup them and then they come out like that then you can mess about with them how you want then you know it's a, it's a completely different ball game then you can make that last longer and it, you know you can make you can make these go that long and that that long and the and the backgrounds goes before they do so we'll have a look at that see how that looks all right so so the background's gone now and then you got the uh, different pieces going after right see that's that's the difference with being ungrouped but if you do have them ungrouped you'll have a lot of stuff on your um, timeline after because obviously all the different groups things being ungrouped will be a lot to handle so you've got to be aware of that right so let's just group them back up if I can right so uh, I'm going to need my hands right so I'm just going to click on that one and that one that one back on and that one and group them ok group right so that's it and that was the background would it right so and I'll put back to 10 seconds that'll concatenate whatever I've done anyway a lot of it anyway so let's go back and see how that looks now yeah back to normal so that's fine right now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a character and then show you how to cut the ends off it and what you can do with it as well right so to improve um, use of them right so we'll go on to a character let's try oh, the one I call Albert that one will do I'll put him at the wrong place now let's take him that way right now if you have a, we'll put him on talk um, not that I'm going to use talking but you know we can put him on talk because this one's a good example right now if we go on this and you see him talking he doesn't talk straight away in the animation right so if say you want to say something um, you know you've got about a two two second pause on it at the beginning and there's a little pause at the end right of about a second pause at the end look let's just try that again to show you see yeah it pauses about a, it pauses for about a second at the end and two seconds at the beginning I think yeah well actually four seconds four seconds at the beginning and a second at the uh, two seconds at the end so if you cut them off from there you know what you do is just type that down from there using the actual character's own thing um, timeline right now if you do that that should be on talking straight away right so you can do that and du duplicate that I mean let's turn that off a sec duplicate and put it further on the line should line up for you as well so duplicate again do it like that and you can have him talking for a while then that's how you go right so we go yeah there's no stopping is there no stopping him it's almost like our Charlie <laughs> okay so that's it we got him talking for quite a bit there right so let's get him to say something shall we um, 
Let's go. We can turn the text to speech. should be enough. I'll put that. Right. I didn't put that right. Let's, let's preview that. Hello thing. and welcome to Tony's Music. Please like and subscribe. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so I'll just do that. Okay, now we go on back onto the program and where he's speaking, let's start. First speak. And we can change the length of it after when we get to there. See, because that ain't very long, is it? So I don't need that one. I get that one off. Then we do just knock that down to there. Right now, let's try that. Hello and welcome to Tony's Music. Please like and subscribe. That's, that was perfect, wasn't it? That worked pretty well. Um, so that's how you do it. You just cut off the bits that you don't need. You can duplicate it, make sure it's level with the other side there, and then cut off what you don't need elsewhere after. And you have to you have to step it, and afterwards you can you can put them together by. Um, hold on. Um, shift key and click on on each piece. Yeah, a lot. Of, and then you can you can put them in create a group and make them. Uh, I don't know. Uh, character talking you know something like that you can do that you can make it so that the, the, that you've you've got your own group of each character talking and know what they're saying in that particular group so that way it'll help you to keep a catalogue of what you're doing better so if you do that that'll be that'll be useful for you so hopefully I've helped you with my uh, hello and welcome to Tony's music so I'm just gonna please like and again. subscribe and please like and subscribe to Tony's Music if you like this tutorial and I uh, hope you have a good day. Thank you.